I'm John Skinner, and this supports my online fluke fishing course at saltstrong.com skinner. I'll have links to all of the gear in the description of the video. All right, this is going to be a spectacular trip, and it's going to start real early. Uh, that boat you see easing in, that's my friend Doc, and he's being really extra awesome this morning. First of all, for uh, getting us out nice and early to fluke fish, and secondly, for coming in and picking me up. And I'll tell you what, that good deed, uh, I don't know, maybe it's going to give him some good karma today because, yeah, this is going to be a great trip for him. Oh yeah. <laughs> I, I hear it's a good pickup spot. Yeah, am I on time or what? I think so. Uh. <laughs> good morning. Good morning. Good morning. This is Joe and Haley. Oh yeah, I've uh, I've known them on the other boat. I I mean I don't know if we've met. Maybe I don't know if we've fished I, on I the same boat. You, you signed the book for her. Oh. Uh, yeah, yeah, right. yeah. Which. Um, which other boats, Skinner? Well, good. I know these two won't be getting seasick out there, so that's good. <laughs> 35 mile run, but this boat flies. So, uh, yeah, the first part of it's going to go by very quickly. But that was bay water and now we've hit the ocean and uh yeah it's a much different picture and that's often the case we turn the corner we hit the ocean and yeah it gets snotty but um yep it's gonna be fine okay not long into the trip uh sweeney's gonna break the ice for us here get that first keeper in the boat decent fish good uh, start good keeper. way to start yeah but that one's not even bled out yet, and Sweeney's on to another one. This one's a great one. Uh, I'm coming. Holy shit. Holy shit. That's a good fish. You are not kidding, man. That's a good fish. Damn. Uh huh. I can't bring this damn thing up. Oh, you got you time. You got time. <laughs> Joe, do, do, oh my god. Do me a favor. Open that middle hatch on the bottom, in the front, in the it's front. There's a big net. Uh -huh. Again, there's a big net. <laughs> Get the real big net. <laughs> I mean, this is pretty big, oh, but man. just in case. Oh. This is I love this rod. Thing. Ben's right to the backbone, man. Just I know you got to go under a lot of shit, Joe, but... Yeah, take your time, take man. Take your time. Don't worry. I mean, it's coming. We'll get it in the little one. Just in case. Oh, no, yeah, that's, that's nice. That's a fluke. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah it's fluke. got the perfect shakes. Yep, that's a fluke. It's, it, it's, it's starting to move up. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, Yeah, you got to assemble it and everything. Oh, shit, now it's going straight up. Good. You just gave up on it. Look at this. That's weird, right? Yeah. Oh, here it is. Yep. Nice one. Nice, nice. Way to go. Way to go, John. Woo! Okay, that's uh That's a nice fish, man. That's, that's a, double digits. That could be yeah, double digits. Yeah, it, is. it is. It's okay, Joe. No, that's definitely I just double. To make oh, sure yeah. we had a, one just in case. That's a double nice. digit, baby. Yeah. That, that, could, that could be a freaking 11. Yeah. I could, yeah. That could even be a 12. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, what a beauty. Okay, it went just over 10 pounds and uh yep, it's going to go back. Beautiful. There you go. Oh yeah, he's in great shape too. Yeah, oh yeah. Oh, Whoa, way to go, John. <laughs> All right, this is how we do it here. Um, okay, this is kind of an unusual occurrence for us. Uh, what you're going to see here, and I'm leaving this in because it's going to probably explain uh, something else that's going to happen later in the trip. With you? No, I'm up already. Then I guess I'm not with you. So this doesn't feel like this guy you has know, done no fluke. Nah. No. Oh. I snagged a bunker. How do you oh do that my on God. the bottom? The, uh, you too. You... Hey. <laughs> oh <my laughs> wow. <laughs> That's a first. All right. The drift is very strange this trip, and so are the hits. Almost all of the hits that I've got, um, just like this. It's like it's almost like you're like stuck on a rock or against something you just there's like no you don't feel any taps or anything any kind of a hit 
It's just there's something there. Uh, I would say three or out of the four times I would swing at that, it was nothing. But the fourth time, it would be a fish. And hey, there's no penalty in swinging. So if you're jigging, you feel a little bit of weight, you feel something there, just swing. Uh, you know, you've got really nothing to lose. Thank you. Pink shine. All right, I'm going to miss one of those hits here, and as soon as I put back down, my camera battery is going to die, and then it's going to be the same thing. There's going to be a little bit of weight. I'm going to set the hook and hook them, and then I turn my camera back on when the fish came closer just because I knew I'd get like 10 or 15 seconds of video time out of it. So there's the fish. And then the battery died. Yeah, all of a sudden they're winning a few games, huh? Yeah, there were four games out of What did they do yesterday? I know they lost two days ago. Yeah, then they had the new pitcher. Uh, the new pitcher pitched yesterday? Oh, yeah. I saw it, uh, it was 3 1, and then somebody took it. a single home run, made it 3 2. Uh huh. And then they had a guy on second base, and they uh, got two out, they couldn't bring him in. But that, and then I fell asleep, I didn't want to do it again. That was like, I want to say that was the. I don't remember. What are we, seven and a half oh, games out of Wallace Park now? That a, that's a keeper. Yeah, definitely. Uh, get, you want to swing them or you Yeah, yeah I do want to eat. I do yeah, want to, yeah. uh, you know what, if I lose them, I lose them. If I lose them, I lose them. Okay. I think he's a keeper. Okay. Yeah, perfect size. If, yes. If, you know. All right, what we call fluke uh, in the Northeast are called flounder in just about every place else. And uh, we make a distinction because we have a, a, another fish that we call a flounder, a winter flounder. And uh, yeah, I have foul hooked one. That's what I'm bringing up. And I can tell you, this is probably the first winter flounder I've touched in like 10 years because there's just so few of them. When I was a kid, the place was loaded with them. Uh, I, I don't know what happened. They uh, just not very many of them around anymore. Um, so that's what this is going to be. And when I bring it up, yeah, check out the mouth because that's really uh, you know the big difference uh, when you just take a look at it you know because sure that looks like a, it's a fluke but uh, it's got a very small mouth these things eat like worms and clams and things they're not chasing bait fish down there's no teeth in that mouth and uh, this is a rather small one um, when I was a kid boy those things paved the bottoms of the harbors but uh, well it's good to see one anyway so the strangeness in the current this trip is that uh, a lot of times you'll as you're letting your line down this is about 85 feet of water so you're letting your line down the line would go like under the boat as if you were fishing the the wrong side of the boat but then what would happen when you started jigging is you would kind of pick up that belly and then the jig would be straight down and in the beginning we had like a one mile an hour drift and yet we're only using the two ounce jig and uh, so that's it, pretty good because we're covering bottom we're able to stay light but as uh, time passes throughout the morning uh, things shift around the lines go all different ways uh, and it was just I think it contributed to the way the fish were um, feeling on the hits because like I said and it was like over and over on these hits it was just something there, something different and worth swinging at. You need a net. You need it? You need help? Yeah, I need a net, yeah. And it's not it's not huge, but you, got it? you know, I know we're looking for some Watch meat. That. So. Watch that. Thanks. Oh, perfect. Well, all three of mine have been on the that bucktail. Yo, 
right you know what that thing just laid like i you know how you feel like you're yeah. just sitting on or like yeah. caught yeah. on something yeah that's how my last one was too same thing there's like no sign that it was a fish but you set the hook anyway yeah. Yeah. usually it's nothing so all of that blood came out of two fluke uh, yeah, it really pays to bleed these things out. Uh, we give them a good cut across the gills. They die faster, so it's a, definitely a little bit more humane. It gets the blood out, preserves the meat. Once they've bled out, which only takes a couple of minutes, then we stick them on ice, and uh, the meat quality is just fantastic. Doc, you know where we were, right? Got there, doctor. Finally, you know what the fluke feels like. It's definitely. A fluke. Yep, I it's, saw it. I saw that. Yeah. Good, 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 good. Nice. Come on. Oh, nice fish, doc. Pull in, pull in. Beauty. Yeah. No, it's more than five. Sixer. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. All right, Sweeney just got slammed, dropping his jig to the bottom, and he's going to be in for some fun. If that's oh, the biggest fish, it caught me on the way down. Yeah. Uh, on the way down? Yeah, yeah. It's not, uh, it's not if a, that's a fluke, John. Uh, oh, no, it's not a fluke. Wow, what the hell do you have? No, that is not bottom. He's got a he's got a big ass fish on there. It's not the bottom. I just want to. Are there big blues? There's some big blues around. That's a fluke. No way. Well, listen. Okay. You don't have to run for the net. I can tell you that. Boy, got me on the way down. How far down? I just cast it out. I just I don't know. Not far. Unless it's a bonita. It could be a bonita. It's not a fluke. The, uh, the Andy wow, that's a nice fight. That's Maybe it's, you know what, there's been some big blues around. Maybe it's a big yeah. blue. I think it's a, uh, oh, God. I heard that drag. I was like, yeah. oh, my God. <laughs> I want to just keep your eyes open, guys. I think it's a shark. I think it might be a pressure, a baby pressure. Here it comes, here it comes. See it? Ah, oh, shit. It's going back down. Yeah. It, it looked too big for a blue fish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was definitely not the a blue. The way it's fighting it is not definitely a Definitely not a blue, because that was black on the top. Maybe it's a striped ass. No, it could it's, be a striper. Uh, no. uh, you got to watch your line. Yeah, and just grab me the big neck, Joe. Let us know when it's been sight again. Yeah, I, I, get, I said that because I wanted you to get, you know, so we yeah. know what it was. You know, you know, it, it just looked really long. What are you doing with the purple line? What purple line? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a big purple line. Is it? And it didn't break the leader yet? Bring him in now. Here it is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's a... Uh, oh, oh yeah, not a striper. It's oh a my striper. god, it's a it's huge a striper. striper. I told you. Wow. I told you yeah. it's a striper. Holy shit. Wait, 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 Harry. That is so I told you it was a striper. You're gonna knit that? Yes. Nicely yes, too. yes, 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 yes. Nice job. Oh, shit, shit. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Nice John. <laughs> <laughs> All right, not 40, but 32. Uh, yeah, I've got a link to the line he was using in the video description. And we would release that fish no matter what, but legally we need to release it. We are outside of the three-mile line, so uh, legally we can't possess this fish. But though, like I said, it doesn't matter. We definitely would release it, and it's going to go off just fine. All right, we never catch stripers doing this in these waters. Recall those bunker from earlier in the video? Almost certainly that fish was on the bunker schools and uh, that's what drew it to this area. Okay, keep an eye on Doc's rod, the white rod to the right. This is going to be a beauty.
Yeah. Autographed. There you go. All right. <laughs> Swingy, that bag right there, that's good for like two people, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, oh yeah. Oh my god. Fish. No. Yeah, he was stuck oh at first. God. I saw it. He was stuck, but now he's got oh a fish. God. I'll net it. You need net, right? Yeah. And it's gonna be a good one. He was yeah. oh. <laughs> gonna go right over you cuz. Mm -hmm. But he was stuck. Oh. That thing wasn't budging. Wow. No, I think it's a, I think you got a, a very serious fish on it. Yeah, definitely. Look at that. It's hard to tell on that rod. It's rocking the boat. Uh, yeah. yeah. Pulling the boat. Sea bass, yeah. Keep it out. Let me know if it's right there. Wow. Oh my god. Come on, doctor. Oh shit, I got the little net. You got him, you got him. Oh doctor, way to go, man. Nice. Holy shit. shit. That's oh, like oh, my, my deep double digit in uh, the two you weeks. Know what? Oh wow. Oh yeah, it is. Oh, that's yeah, definitely, yeah. That's a DP. Yep. Yep. <laughs> that's a DP. <laughs> wow. I am the doctor. That one went 12 pounds. Congratulations, Doc. That's a beauty. Like a needle, like a hypodermic. Oh, oh, there you go. There you go. All right, just get him going and open it up. And How does it open? Like this? Yeah, pull it. Pull it. No, pull the the, the, oh, the big flat part. Pull it towards you. The big, oh, I see, yeah, I see. that's it. I see. There you go. Oh, there he goes. No problem. Okay. Oh, yeah? Oh, we got a fluke up there. Wait, I gotta see where we caught that. You know where we. So, this is a weekend, a Sunday, actually, and you can see it's nice and uh, there's hardly any boats at all. That's because Doc has taken us to a spot that he. I, I wasn't even aware of this spot. And he, like, never goes there. And he said uh, he wanted to go there today because it's a weekend, the other spots are crowded. And he said something about having the right people on the boat for doing it. And. Uh, you can see how it's paying off so pretty amazing weekend nobody out he's got this piece of water to himself and uh you see what the fishing is and he said he found the spot just by looking at online charts and seeing some interesting edges so hey it's paying off oh yeah i lost my goal Sweeney, did you say you were looking for meat today? I'm, I'm good. Yeah, well, okay. Joe want, uh, wants to bring some fish home too. Joe, did you, did you want a fish? Uh, I'll, I'll just bring home a good eating size. Okay. I'll just make sure it's, it's legal. One. Yeah. Okay, and you have to measure these things with the mouth closed. And uh, yeah, it definitely makes a difference, of, you know, half an inch at least. So I'm doing that with my finger. I should have pushed the head up against that board, uh, but yeah, that one was easily over. And now Joe's onto a decent fish. Nice yeah. fish. All right. Joe Hong. Good fish. Yeah. Good fish. Thank you, Good job, man. So we had been fishing two ounces uh, up to about this point, and then there was some kind of change with the direction of the current with respect to the, the direction of the wind. Uh, we now uh, have gone up to four ounces, and but we're really not moving very much. We're not covering a lot of ground. It would have been a perfect situation for a trolling motor, but um, hey, we're still catching. We're covering a little bit of ground, and... Uh, yeah, so we're still getting to bend the rod here, and that's a, another nice one Sweeney's got up there in the front. How about swinging? I'm trying to swing on the swing. You got that swinging. on film? <laughs> yeah. Uh, come on. Let me see like how a, much you A can. negative swing. Quiet. Quiet. He's going back. You want to move over? I'll throw you over. And don't think I can. You have already? <laughs> I know. Yeah, but when, when I wasn't looking, that was, that was such a wussy maneuver. Did you know that, Skinner? I threw What's that? Off this boat. No. Or I threw you off my boat. 
So I just dropped like a, a keeperish fluke, not a big fluke. Well, I've seen on the underwater video many times if the lure bait comes out of its mouth, it goes right back on. I think that's what happens here, or it could be the second fish, I'm not sure. And I'm going to do a real poor job of communicating with the guys about um, the size of this fish. It, it kind of fooled me. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think it's the same one though. You think it's a keeper? This one's bigger than the other one. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's not huge, but. It's got some pulls there, right? I wonder if I'm almost wondering if I fouled him because, I mean, uh, can you hold this yeah, you know what? He's going to end up being foul hooked. So. You think so? Huh? Yeah. Because now I'm not getting the head shakes. Oh, I clearly had him in the beginning. Yeah. It's actually coming straight up, and I should have had somebody standing by with the net. You know what? I need a net. I need it now. Oh, yeah. Take that. Take that. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. I got the rod. <laughs> oh well. Yeah. Line, That's yeah. my fault. Because I didn't say anything. That's okay. That's a good fish. Yeah, I know. You know. Oh. <laughs> uh oh. Okay. There goes the. Oh. Yeah, that thing he stepped on was. Uh, a five-year-old bucket of gulp, so uh, yeah, not too good. All right, one more non-existent hit here. Uh, they just, they're not hitting. They're just kind of latching on. Um, but if you feel that interruption, that little bit of weight on, just set, just set, yeah. That's a keeper. Yep. All right, if you haven't already done so, I encourage you to check out the online summer flounder fishing course at saltstrong.com slash skinner. And if you like these videos, please subscribe. And I leave you with two very tired guys. And, uh, oh, Joe's neck. That looks like it could hurt in the morning. All right, thanks for watching.